Dilutions are widely used in experimental sciences to create solutions of specific concentrations or stock solutions. Now, although the process may seem quite simple and straightforward, possessing and perfecting this skill is incredibly invaluable. As if you make a mistake and create the wrong concentration, you can completely ruin your consequent experiments. So today I'm going to show you a simple serial dilution. That is a succession of dilutions from a stock solution with a constant dilution factor. Now this dilution technique is often used in biology and medicine to reduce the concentration or number of cells in any given sample. However, today we're going to use it to test accuracy and precision. So what do you need to do? For the sake of demonstration, we're going to use food colouring, 10 cm cubed measuring cylinders, some distilled water, graduated pipettes, a test tube rack and test tubes labelled 1 to 6. Okay, so this is pretty straightforward guys. What we're going to do is we're going to take our solution of food colouring and we're going to accurately measure out 10 milliliters. Remember, keeping the solution at eye level and reading off the bottom of the meniscus. Okay. We're going to pour that into test tube one, as so, and this now becomes our stock solution. So from this solution, we're going to make our consequent dilutions. To do this, using a clean graduated pipette, you're going to remove one milliliter of our stock solution. Again at eye level, transfer that into test tube two. And using a clean measuring cylinder, again, accurately reading from the bottom of the meniscus, we're going to measure out nine milliliters of distilled water. Add that to test tube two, like so. Let that out, give it a quick shake. And well, hey, there you are. You've just made a solution of a dilution 10 to the minus one of test tube one. So now that we have a sample of stock solution and a sample of 10 to the minus one diluted solution, we can continue with the experiment. Following the same process, you're gonna grab a clean pipette. Once again, measure out one milliliter of your solution from test tube 2 at eye level and add into test tube 3. Exactly the same as we did before, we're going to measure out 9 milliliters of distilled water using our measuring cylinder at eye level. You're going to then add that 9 milliliters of water to test tube 3. Exactly as we did before, give that a gentle shake. And now we have a stock solution a 10 to the minus 1 diluted solution and a 10 to the minus 2 diluted solution. Now we'll repeat this a further three times, again making sure that you use clean pipettes every time so you avoid contamination. This is a perfect example of a serial dilution. Okay, well that's the end of the experiment. What have I been able to show you? Well, you've learned that a serial dilution of this nature will produce a tenth of the, the previous concentration used each time. Now this technique is a precise method to accurately measure the concentration of a solution. It's incredibly valuable when you're working in titrations. And perfecting this technique now will help you in consequent practicals that you'll do during school and will also prove to be incredibly useful to you if you carry on a career in a scientific environment. Well, that was Serial Dilutions. I've been Simon. Hope you had a bit of fun. And I'll see you soon.